Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to show you how to encrypt data using a key protected by Unbound Key Control, UKC, via RESTful API. UKC is an end-to-end, -end full key lifecycle management solution that includes the next-gen VHSM. Because it's completely software-based, you can protect and manage keys in one central system across all sites and environments. In this screen, you can see the UKC Management Console connecting to the app-level encryption partition. You can also see the encryption key, My Encryption Key. And if we'll click on Show Info, we can see more details about the key, including the Key Unique Identifier, or UID. Under Users, we can see several users. One of them is a user called Demo. Let's go ahead and access the key from an application. This is Postman. Postman is a pretty popular application for sending RESTful API commands. In this example, we can see the following parameters. Under Authorization, we can see the UKC user and the UKC partition. The user is Demo and the partition is App Level Encryption. Under Params, we can see the key ID. Notice that the key ID matches the key ID in UKC. Next, we can see the REST API functions that we are using. In this case, it's SEAL. And under Clear Text, we can see the clear text you want to encrypt. For example, the secret code for the system is password1 exclamation mark. Once we click on send, then Postman will send the REST API call to UKC, and we will get back the ciphertext and additional information about the ciphertext. What we can do next is do the opposite. We can copy the ciphertext, open the unseal REST API function, which basically decrypts the information and paste the ciphertext here. We can see under params where we're using the same key to decrypt. Under authorization, we're using the same user and the same partition. Once we click on send, Postman will send the REST API function to UKC, and we will get back clear text data. If you want to see the audit event, we can go to Splunk, which UKC is connected to and sends log file information to. And here we can see in the last five minute window that a user named Demo from the app level partition performed a decrypt operation. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you saw and are interested in learning more, check out our VHSM interactive demo. The link is below.